My name is Eva Ho. I work uh, at a company called Factual. Uh, we're a big data platform. Uh, I manage marketing, sales, and operations. Um, the way I arrived at this job is uh, I entered technology about 12 years ago. I actually was a science major in, in my past life, uh, but I've been very fortunate to uh, get involved in the startup world about 12 years ago um, with my first company, which is Applied Semantics. Uh, we created the product AdSense, uh, which got sold to Google uh, in 2003, and I was at Google for several years, and feel very fortunate to uh, be on this venture again with uh, Gil Elbaz, um, who was one of the founders of Applied Semantics. The Factual stands at a very um, uh, important intersection of technology, which is while they're, um, according to Moore's Law, um, we've enjoyed a lot of um, cost savings on the side of hardware um, and software storage. Uh, when it comes to data, um, data remains extraordinarily difficult to access for many, many companies, startups, um, and as well as consumers. And what, as a company, we're trying to do is build a platform where we can provide a really high quality, reliable data to a wide variety of applications, uh, which in turn will touch a lot of consumers. Um, so we have companies like Facebook, uh, City Search, uh, Foursquare, all using our data to uh, build the next generation of amazing ap applications. We actually make data. Um, a lot of companies uh, will have uh, models around data marketplaces where they simply aggregate data from other providers, but we uh, we do something much more complicated. It's actually, We actually create these data sets. What we do, I think some people would deem is a little less sexy than somebody who's building a game or the next web application. Uh, we really do sort of the background work that's important to power most of these applications, which is core data plumbing, uh, core data integration. Um, so a lot of the stuff that we do require very sophisticated machine learning techniques, natural language processing, and ultimately we're using tools uh, to structure the World Wide Web. Um, we're using tools to ingest um, a lot of partner contributions. Um, and this model is fairly revolutionary because through these different means, we can actually create data in a very cost-effective way and provide it to lots of companies out there. Um, the interesting fact is about 90% of our customers actually get the data for free, uh, meaning if they're young and small and can't afford it, they get that data for free, while larger companies would be paying for the same data um, at a much higher monthly cost. So we're building a very sort of fair, generous, uh, freemium model, um, and that was a lot of the mission of the company was to be able to give a lot of these applications uh, easy access to high quality data. I get to work with some of the most brilliant people uh, in the world, um, whether it's a data engineer, a software engineer, um, a scientist, uh, or any of the, actually the non-technical people. We have a team of 55 people that I would call my family. Um, and we get to work together to solve um, a very large, important problem in the world. My job is I run uh, marketing, sales, and operations. And what that means is I get to wear a lot of hats. Uh, and this is not unusual for most people that are working at a startup uh, where you basically do what needs to be done. Um, but on any given day, I might be working uh, with the product engineering team on determining the next set of features. Uh, I might be working on messaging around a product launch. Um, I might be working with our CEO on crafting um, his next keynote. Um, so it's a wide variety of uh, jobs and tasks that we get to, that I get to do, um, and it's uh, never a boring day. So that's a it's pretty it's a pretty amazing job across the board. Right now we're a 55 person company, and certainly uh, working and running a company of this size is very different than working for a Google or something a larger organization. We face our own set of challenges. Um, but the great thing is we get to truly create our own, own destiny. Um, but the challenges are uh, getting folks uh, all aligned uh, to focus on the highest priority for the company and building the best product every single day. And that is not easy. Um, and so a lot of the things that we focus on is making sure uh, all the folks are working on the right things, um, focus on the right features. And at the, at the end, we're all focused on building something that's valuable to our customers. So one of the core values that we have as a, as a company is to be extremely customer centric. Um, and that means often shifting gears, um, a lot of roadmap changes, um, and staying very agile. Um, and so working for a company like this is not for everyone. I think if you like, if you're someone who likes a lot of structure um, and discipline, we're probably not the right place to be. Uh, but if you want to create uh, brand new things, uh, really think out of the box, um, and really push the envelope on uh, what you want to build, uh, Factual is uh, the, would be the place you would want to be. As a girl who's uh, in technology today, um, I can't say I followed a very common path um, to getting to where I am. 
Um, I actually arrived at technology a lot later in my life um, because I simply didn't have the access or the resources uh, as a child. Um, so for a lot of women who uh, are thinking about, or young girls who are thinking about a career in technology and asking what are the right things to do, what are the right things to think about, I think the first thing is really allow yourself to at least explore. Um, and that means um, whether you're at home or at school, uh, looking at uh, ways to interact with the computer, um, looking at things that typically you would say, oh, boys, this is all for uh, boys in terms of playing with computers, coding, playing games, uh, whatever you're doing that interacts with technology. I think uh, as a young girl, I think it's really important for you to uh, know that um, you ha should have access to these things um, and be able to um, uh, explore and, and, um, and uh, experiment with different types of technologies. In terms of as a woman leading a, uh, a tech company, I think what's extraordinary is um, over the last few years we've seen uh, a lot more opportunities for women and um, it's not about uh, girls not getting access to opportunities but really more about building skills around women and breaking um, a lot of these stereotypes um, around computing that's very male centric. People really want to work with people who are talented, um, people who bring unique skills and perspectives and backgrounds um, and I think the technology field is actually very open to that um, so I never felt that I was treated any differently um, so I think as a young girl out there if you're thinking that uh, jobs uh, at a company like Amazon or Google or LinkedIn that they really favor men that's actually not the truth what they want is just talent um, and if you bring the talent um, I think you'll have a very um, amazing career ahead of you so I feel very lucky to be a, a, a girl um, in technology I actually don't think of myself I don't come in every day thinking hey I'm a girl in technology um, but when asked a question um, I think I'm fortunate to be part of an industry that is extraordinarily accepting um, and even if you do encounter folks that may be less accepting um, that is not unique to technology that is really everything um, every other um, uh, types of industries out there you will find people that are uh, less friendly to to you because you are a girl um, and I think the way you can prove it is by doing what you do best.